at that time it's like me get a shock and I hit the reality for say and this we have come to how much weeks so hi everybody welcome again to my youtube channel um thank you all for your great support getting me to 300 subscribers um i want to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this week so if you haven't subscribed please check down below that red button click it and make sure to stay tuned for my video today i just wanted to come on here and share with you all my experience living in cuba for about six to seven weeks like it take more half an hour for each cuba and most of when i the plane i go down and when i look on the airport some of the letter them all drop off at the airport at that time, it's like me get a shock and I hit the reality for say, and this we have come to for much weeks. Them have some big black dog at the airport. Some peas and suppose them dog you just go jump on me for no reason. Suppose me have a smell with them no like. I didn't know, I didn't know you used to. I didn't just go jump on and attack me for no reason. So basically, the first thing that I want to share with you all was my experience with the food in Cuba. Honestly, we were told before I went that bring as many, bring as much tin items as you can pack in your suitcase and the luggage that you're allowed to bring. The food, it tastes weird. Honestly, it have a tea, it have a weird taste. And I mainly pork, they want to give it for eat. That's the second thing. But I couldn't, what I couldn't manage, what it really turned me off from the food was the flies. I don't know if it's a place where we stayed, but it's a lot. I stop eating downstairs and I just start live from crackers. <laughs> tin sardine and mayonnaise and little black pepper that's all i ate secondly when you go up on the road you could have see the people them have some pig and they put a long um wood through the pig to the mouth part to the end of the pig <laughs> i have the pig i turn it and i roast it and then them just like we'll just like slice off some of the, the, the pork and give it to people and you know, some paper will look like parchment paper but it's not parchment paper thing like the baking paper so they used to give me something like Malta every single day so to start piling them up and stack them up in the room. The next thing that I found a bit surprising was the houses. They were all like short, rectangular looking houses. But the university that we went to, I don't know like, I can't believe other university them really send away some huge cracks not the one and like when you walk through the university up here urine and smell so them just like urinate in every corner and crease and crevice in at the university it's like me fearful that like, the whole thing just tear down upon me they also had some very nice cars over there but up here vintage cars so <laughs> it'll be like you yeah, take a step into the past And then I have never what if I cry my violence like that, so it did good. So Cubans know over party. Even the motel that we're the motel that we're staying at, the place that we're staying at, when you look at some point of the day, like you see everybody just come out and I do like salsa with each other, like them just like that. No, no, it is just like crazy. One of the things I remember saying is the bikes and the bike rides. Like, I remember that I jump on a bike, I run, I drive, I ride go over to the university. I think it was 10 pesos that I paid for a bike ride. We used to take bike, go back to university, go send email because we really couldn't make no phone call because it was like about $300 per minute to make a call to Jamaica. Honestly, what I really rate and respect and love about Cuba was the fact that they were self-sufficient everybody is educated enough to support the country in whatever area so you have enough doctors enough um nurses to support the country in that particular capacity thank you for watching my video if you liked what i spoke about in the video please subscribe